Hi, my name is Ade Mala, and this is Still Bright Black, an evening of colorful narratives in sweater weather, and I am still your host. Um, let's talk about my next guest. Uh, she's a friend, an artist, a businesswoman, um, a makeup stylist. She's been in, featured in multiple publications. She's done such amazing work. Every time I hang out with her, I go back home as a better artist, and I'm so happy to have her here. Ludie Sinatus. Hi, Ludie. Hello, everyone. Hello, beautiful people. Uh, I'm it's happy so to be nice here. to see you. It's an honor. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for giving us the space. Absolutely. Thank you for being a living inspiration honestly uh, tell us about yourself I, I feel like i didn't <laughs> i tried with the you know with the intro but i feel like i didn't quite capture the essence of who Ludi would be how would Ludi introduce Ludi to us oh how would Ludi introduce Ludi? that's a good question i think i've been waiting for this question but i'm not prepared um so i am a Slash slash. I'm an all around creative. I'm a visual artist. I work in creative production, uh, designing looks for commercials and um, uh, for campaigns, for editorials. I also um, love to inspire and develop, uh, do business de development for creatives like myself. And um, I enjoy providing a platform for people to showcase their talents, their many talents, because my saying is that you are uniquely gifted and the world needs you, and no one can do what you do the way that you do it. So I'm just happy to help facilitate that. Wow. Thank you, Ludi. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I was just here, like, listening and soaking up the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what like what got here how did you how did you get to become this person well, when did this start for you what was the what was the fire that you know that started the smoke that started this fire or you know that thing that just like really you're gonna be an artist <laughs> um i think it was just watching my parents who my dad is very much uh, a creative and, and, uh, and uh, um, an entrepreneur my mom is also creative in her own way um, and very much, they're both go-getters and they're both like, you know, if you're into science and stuff, they're both cancers bo born like three days apart. Wow. So they're both bo bosses in their own right and both like very creative in their very own ways. I think observing them and watching them leave their home, which is, takes a lot of courage to look for something new and better and to... Uh, just do different than what their ancestors did uh, has been an inspiration for me. Um, having the courage to just um, look for something different and to be creative in your own way. My dad was very much an adventurous and um, loved pursuing different creative endeavors and business ventures. And I w woke up, I grew up uh, watching him and that's been uh, very much a huge thing like uh, I have a lot of creatives and business owners and artists and um, people f from all different walks of life in my family and I grew up seeing that and that was um, the more as I get older and I think back that was very important for me to see that because um, I, I know a lot of people that don't have that opportunity to see people that look like them do all different types of things and know that the world is their oyster. Like for some people that's a struggle and I was very, um, very, very fortunate and blessed to be able to have a background like that. Wow. So basically you're saying that the apple did not fall too far from the tree. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I love that for you. You know, for me, I, my family, we, I mean, I don't know any artists in my family, mm -hmm. but I do know that they have quite the fashion sense. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's an art form that you <laughs> know, they, they yeah. explore. Um, for me, I, it was more of being Nigerian, just growing up around a place that is so rich in culture mm -hmm. and um, expression. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it kind of gives you this this thing that makes you have the audacity to do something a little differently mm -hmm. even though even though we are very school and you know certificates driven people mm -hmm. at the same time 
we are also very expressive people. Mm -hmm. So I just find myself like, oh, I'm going to be an artist. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know that because I wanted to be a doctor mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. So, and now, you know, we do this. Um, so back to you, Ludi. Tell yeah. us. What can we expect of Ludi in the next five years? What's Ludi looking forward to? What is what is what is Ludi's five year plan if Ludi had it all within our means? Uh, you know, as human beings we grow and evolve and we're influenced by different things, but I think that um, you know, if I were to die today <laughs> you know, and um I would, um and and if I if I'm blessed enough to live five years into the future I would want uh, for people to speak of me very kindly and say that I help facilitate and help them live their dreams and um, walk in their purpose. Uh, I would say that I, in anything that I have, I'm involved in is helping to um, help people shine in their very own way. Um, so I would say anything that I'm a part of, whether it's now or in the future, five years from now, would be to help um, develop people, to help make the world a better place uh, through art, and to um, be the best Ludi I can be. I mean, yeah. honestly, that's a good, I mean, there's always room for gold, but yeah. it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I mean, you are it. Thank you. Honestly, I, you know, I really do admire you as a person. Thank you. Um, and I love, love, love your work. I love the way that you communicate with your heart or through your heart work. You can look at that canvas and feel like you have met you, we've met you, mm -hmm. tell a story that, that feels personal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's not always the case in every art form. Mm -hmm. But for you, I think you've found that sweet sweet place Thank between, you. like, who you are and how you share that. Mm -hmm. And that's very, very hard to do as an artist. So congratulations to you, first Thank of all. Thank you. I'm still and working on it. Just in case you're watching this... Ludis Gallery is right here in the heart of downtown Columbus. It is called Conscious Creative, and it is truly, truly the place to be. Because, trust me, I, I mean, I, I wasn't here for the opening, but I was here before the opening, so I got a little sneak peek before people got to see it. And uh, I can tell you, I went back home to my paintbrush because I felt inspired. I just knew that, you know? wow, I learned something today and I have to make use of it. That's how valid and um, strong Ludi's um, work comes across. So Ludi, for Bright Black, yeah. what do you think that your, if you were to tell the story of this evening, what experience would, would you say that you're looking to um, curate? Uh, I would say um, just in line with what your vision is, is a, an, even, a, an, an evening of colorful narratives and stories. I think that um, having people curate their art, show their art, uh, show their personalities, show their visual. I mean, you have actors that are going to be in the space. You have visual artists that are going to be in the space. All these different talents. You have you, a <laughs> film director, and writer, and screenwriter that's going to be in the space. Um, just um, expecting to see that and see, seeing everybody's light shine that's what I hope to see yeah same yeah honestly I, I I think for me I'm most excited about the part where we open up to the community yeah. and not just a community conversation mm -hmm. you know just a space to, to create dialogue from a very uh, intentional lens yeah. and um, I, I'm looking forward to this as well I cannot wait for us to be able to look back and say we did that yeah. you know we truly truly said let's let's take the time to empower other artists to shine light upon them and tell a story and um, share a space and conversation and network um, especially you know being in Columbus, Ohio, and having the opportunity to do this is mm -hmm. truly a privilege. We it cannot is. take it, it for granted. Mm -hmm. And thank you, GCSE, again, for um, providing um, the sponsorship for this. Mm -hmm. We really do appreciate it. We do. Um, thank you, everyone that is watching this. And uh, we will continue on this conversation with Bright Black, an evening of colorful narrative. 
very soon. My name is Tiwa Temala and I am your host. I am a filmmaker and director and I will be showing you some things as well. We'll get back to that later. Thanks. <laughs>